Hello, everyone. I hope everyone is doing well and doing their part to help in this time, unlike any we've ever seen. Many people have asked how we can help our colleagues in the medical industry who are facing shortages of masks and other supplies. If you have masks that can be used by our medical colleagues in your shops and in your storage, please take a moment, contact your local hospital and health department and see how you can help by donating those materials. If you're able to make masks, that can be used in the less high pressure areas. That's a great way we can help as well. We have some of the finest people in making and sewing that this country has. Many people have stepped forward to help in this way. Some people have asked about funding because they need that to be able to buy supplies and perhaps keep shops running. Each state is dealing with this independently. We are based in the state of New York, so we often get that information and can post it. We're working to get information for each state that is available and post it on our website. If you have information, please share it with us at info at usitt.org, and we'll be sure to post it and share it with others. We are looking forward to a time when we can come together again. But for now, we will continue to update you with resources on how you can connect and how you can continue to learn in this time of isolation. Please take a moment, if you haven't received the email about conference refunds, and check your junk mail in your email, because you may find it there. The deadline for that action is April 1st. You will be hearing about other opportunities throughout the month of April to engage and learn through USITT. Be on the lookout for that information in the coming weeks. We wish you all well. Please stay safe, stay inside, and stay connected. Our isolation is physical. We must now more than ever reach out to one another and check on one another to maintain our community and care that we have famously shared through our 60 years of USITT history. Take care my colleagues and I look forward to chatting again with you soon.